Welcome back DIY enthusiasts and craftsmen. Today we are diving into the world of cutting tools and painting two heavy weights against each other, the culping saw and the hacksaw. Whether you are a seasoned woodworker or just starting out, selecting the right tool can make all the difference in the precision and efficiency of your projects. In this showdown, we'll compare the strengths and weaknesses of these two tools to help you make an informed decision. Let's get started. Let's begin by dissecting the anatomy and purpose of each tool. The coping saw boosts a thin, flexible blade attached to a U-shaped frame, allowing for integrate curved cuts in various materials, especially wood and plastic. On the other hand, the hacksaw features a steady C-shaped frame with a rigid blade designed for straight cuts through metal, plastic and even some wood. So, if you are aiming for delicately detailed designs, the coping saw is your go-to while the hacksaw shines in heavy-duty applications. When it comes to cutting flexibility, the coping saw steals the spotlight. Its unique design enables you to navigate around tight curves and irregular shapes with remarkable ease. This makes it ideal for tasks like creating integrate patterns on wooden furniture or crafting decorative pieces. Meanwhile, the hacksaw thrives in linear cutting tasks. Its rigid blade ensures straight cuts, making it perfect for slicing through metal pipes, rods, and plastic tubing accurately. Swiping out blades is a breeze with both the coping saw and the hacksaw. The coping saw offers a wide range of blade choices, each tailored to specific materials and cutting techniques. Changing blades involves a simple process, allowing you to adapt swiftly to different tasks. Similarly, the hacksaw features replaceable blades typically equipped with fine tooth or coarse tooth designs. This versatility empowers you to tackle various materials while maintaining the right balance between speed and precision. Precision is the name of the game in woodworking and crafting and the coping saw plays it well. Its integrate blade and frame design offer unparalleled control allowing you to make delicate cuts without jeopardizing accuracy. This precision is crucial when you are shaping integrate designs or making fine adjustments to your work pieces. Conversely, the hacksaw may not match the same level of finesse, but its steady frame and consistent blade motion ensures clean, straight cuts in metal and plastic applications. Consider the materials you frequently work with. For wood and plastic enthusiasts, the coping saw is a reliable partner, granting you the ability to create stunning curved designs and integrate shapes. Meanwhile, if your projects involve metalwork, plumbing, or general construction, the hacksaw is tailored to handle these tasks efficiently. Its sturdy blade easily bites through metal and plastic, making it a staple in the toolbox of any handyman. The coping saw is known for its lightweight design and comfortable grip, making it easy to maneuver even during prolonged use. This is a major plus when you are working on integrate designs that require steady hands and detailed control. On the other hand, the hacksaw features a more robust frame allowing you to exert greater force when cutting through tough materials. While it might be heavier, its ergonomic handle still ensures a comfortable grip for extended tasks. When it comes to versatility, the coping saw shines as a creative tool for artisans and hobbyists alike. Its ability to create integrate shapes opens up a world of possibilities in woodworking and crafts. Meanwhile, the hacksaw caters to a broader range of applications from home repairs to metal fabrication, giving it an edge when it comes to practicality and overall utility. In the world of cutting tools, the choice between the coping saw and the hacksaw hinges on our projects. For integrate curves and designs, the coping saw is your artistic ally, while the hacksaw excels in heavy-duty cutting of metals and plastics. Craftsmanship meets practicality, the decision is yours. Happy crafting and cutting!